Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chess Voice. Today we are at the next topic that is quick wins in chess and we are going to look at the next example and understand the reason why one loses quickly in chess. As I told you before also these are all master games. Roughly the players are around 2500 rating range, both of them. So they are very well aware of the positional factors, tactical factors, risks in keeping the king in the center and all that. In spite of that, some mistakes are happening. Today we will see the second reason that is the false sense of security. What does that mean? Let's go into the critical position. There I will explain you what it means. e4, e5. This is a Royal Lopez game. nf3, nc6, bb5. The starting of Royal Lopez, black c6 knight is under attack, whites want to put indirect pressure on e5. Black goes a6, the main move, bishop a4, so that he can play b5 at a more suitable moment. Knight f6, attacking e4, white goes castle. All this is totally standard. Black can here choose between various lines. He can play the normal b7, which is the main line. Some players prefer the move d6, some play b5, b5 instantly is not that great. And there is another move, knight takes e4, so called the open variation of Royal Open. Black is not hoping to hold the pawn, he cannot hold the pawn of course, because white has the move d4 here. After d4, he did rookie 1, the knight on e4 is lost. d4, first b5, not allowing bishop c6 anymore. Bishop b3, now the bishop is becoming very dangerous from b3. So ed is of course plunder, ed allows re1 and then after knight g5, the e4 knight will come under pressure. So d5 almost forced, d takes e5. White pressurizes the d5 pawn. Black has of course given up the e5 pawn to get better control of d5. Why black does this opening is, he is aiming to use this 4 pawns against 3 on the queen side in the late middle game or in the end game. So bishop e6 protects d5 firmly and here white has many moves. One of the main lines is nd2 and other move is c3 after nc5 the bishop wants to come to c2. In this game white plays the move bishop e3. Seemingly black wants to enter an endgame as early as possible so that he can get the move c5 and start advancing his pawns. So black decides to go with the move bishop c5 in order to trade the pieces and set his pawns in motion. Although it later turns out that the move b7 is far superior. Black plays bishop c5. Actually white also wants this. He wants to use these dark squares c5, d4 and maybe f4 in some cases to plant his pieces over there and what will happen is after this c5 bishop is gone we will see that this bishop on e6 will be like a bad bishop for black actually so queen d3 allowing the exchange on e3 bishop takes e3 queen takes e3 still at this point many will think why will this game end in 25 moves right nothing much has happened well, things have not worked very well for black actually. What black thought here, after the move castle, he suddenly realizes that after nc3, this e4 knight is coming under pressure and if you turn into c3, then queen c3 and after qd7, queen settles on c5. This is very much annoying for black. After this move, we see there is no queen e7 many times. Knight e7 if we try to move then rook d1. Most likely white would like to play the f rook to d1 and break with the move a4 on the queen side. And we can make out that this position is not at all very fascinating for black. The dark squares have become weak. Another plan could be playing a rook to d1, knight to d4 and play f4. Combine play on the d5 pawn and also use some initiative or play on the king side. So this is what black didn't try. And as compared to the last game, here there is another factor. Here black is feeling, oh I can castle and run away anytime. 
so there is no danger right this is another false security which i have mentioned in the title even grandmasters sometimes get tricked and think oh one move and my king will be able to castle why not make use of this move and gain some make some positional gain this is what mostly is there in their mind and sometimes it's possible that some strategic or tactical points gets missed like let's see here black press the move f5 he wants to secure his knight's position on e4 so now what can happen black is happy to castle and simply has a good place for the knight on e4 right but white is not missing out on the opportunity that the black king is still in the center he wants to open the game of course the black must have thought of this it's not possible that a grandmaster caliber player will not think of the move ef but what he must have missed is after e takes f6 to g takes f6 is of course bad the position is much worse here there can be knight c3 we cannot take because e6 hangs so queen takes f6 and he sees he that he will be able to castle instantly so this looks like a very much of a secured position b2 is attacked so knight c3 is also nothing much to worry about right because knight takes c3 b takes c3 castle then the a rook is ready to reach e8 there also it's like a fine position moreover the center is pretty much secured there are no pawn breaks available so black was quite contented in this position but see what happens here white realizes black king is in the center development is roughly level but the move is his so two factors are coming into play one the king in the center and other the move which white has so white found the move c4 very strong and effective first point d c4 instantly loses to queen e4 as c6 hangs there is no time to go for q b2 and all because c takes d5 we see all these three minor pieces are in trouble queen takes a1 then queen e4 c6 e6 everything is falling off that would be a losing position so b takes c4 almost forced now comes bishop a4 this is what usually happens one move away from castling but black is never getting the time to castle and make his king safe serious problems are there still if bishop f5 queen is having to protect the knight then there is again here nc3 looks decent but maybe black can run away by castle over there so white has a stronger move qd4 very strong intermezzo queen f6 forward by c6 hangs if queen d4 then bishop c6 check first then knight takes d4 queen d6 almost forced and now comes queen e5 check look at the tactics created by white simple yet very effective now queen takes e5 again bishop c6 check knight is lost thus black plays the only move bd7 supports the knight and unpins it at the same time white goes knight c3 multiple threats are there instant castle would allow knight d5 knight on e4 is attacked queen is attacked and there are several threats like bishop c6 followed by e7 fourth so black decides to go with the move qh6 attacking the white queen indirectly tries to protect e4 after any move like qe6 or qd6 we can see that there is the tactical knight takes d5 queen takes d5 rook d1 queen e6 and now comes the very dangerous rook d7 all kinds of tactics happening here queen takes d7 is really bad there will be either knight e5 or queen e4 check winning c6 and after kd7 amongst many moves very simple and elegant is bishop takes c6 check if king takes knight d4 is fourth if queen takes the knight e5 fourth queen the queen so how deadly things have become for black now the position has become totally losing now white goes for the simple winning and again queen f6 g takes h6 knight takes d5 first threat is rook e1 if black castles here then bishop c6 bc knight e7 check and the bishop is lost 
if any move like keen dt is spread then white can try rook c1 rook c4 and pressurize c6 black play castle that is he castled on the long side and here he lost the exchange by force bishop takes c6 bishop takes c6 knight e7 check kb7 forced in order to protect the bishop and after knight c6 kc6 i am sure you must have found by now knight e5 check time to resign since after kb6 or kc5 there is an option after knight e5 check black resigned the problem is not only the exchange is lost look at the active rooks here rooks will either come to c1 d1 or d1 e1 and penetrate further so this position is of course winning for white it's easy to condemn black's play here black should have well castled but the resulting position with queen on c5 was not a very happy one this is one psychological factor that made black look for another sharper alternative where he was lured by the false security that the king can castle in one move but because of white's very strong move c4 which was fundamentally correct white could exploit black's play i hope you are finding these lessons useful and instructive let me know in the comments below thanks for your time